I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the makeup that we chose. Today Cynthia is wearing um, some defined eyes here um, with her kind of rocker, kind of sweet type look. Definitely, she's got some contouring going on. It's a must because we are amongst lots of photographers and you really, really need to not shy away from a bit of contouring and a bit of definition. Um, defined eyebrows and flawless, flawless skin. I have to admit, I am wearing falsies, but to the camera, you may not think so, but just gives you a little bit extra, which don't be shy of. It's not gonna look, you know, fake. Some people are afraid that if they wear lashes, it's gonna be too much. I don't think it's too much, I think it's a must. I think it's beautiful. Thank you. My name is Cynthia, and I'm going to talk about the styling that I chose today for day one of Fashion Week. And first of all, I will tell you how I dressed my sister. Um, I went for the Le Smokin by Yves Saint Laurent, introduced in 1966. This is my personal take on it. It's very, uh, very androgynous, very minimalistic. Uh, we have just a plain blazer with a plain vest, straight-legged trousers. We did have a bit of a heel mishap, so she's not wearing the right shoes. Uh, but we will highlight that and this wide brim fedora. So that is her look. Myself, I do believe as well um, as honoring the, the great such as Yves Saint Laurent, we must also commend those up and coming designers. And that's why I chose my outfit. Uh, it's made by a former student of mine. He's 18 years old. His name's John Tacon. Watch for that name. He's very inspired by Alexander McQueen and he made this for me and it's beautiful and I've had a great day in it. So thank you John Tate. I look forward to wearing more of your creations. Live from Pinky. What do you think the most difficult thing of running your own label is? I guess you're juggling like commerciality and creativity. So you have the idea that as a creator I can create a beautiful piece and also running a business as well. I'm a CEO of my own company. So when I'm running there, it, it challenges me to how to actually make that creativity that wider audience to see and, and visually they can approve it and buy it. <laughs> and one last question. One last question. This uh, dress that I'm wearing was designed by an 18-year-old student of mine. I was a teacher before and he's very inspired by Alexander McQueen. I live in a town in Canada where fashion is not really an option. <laughs> So what, what um, words of wisdom will you, would you give to young designers, especially ones who are just starting out, such as John Tay? I think, first of all, you have to believe what you are and like who you are. You can look at what people's like, footprint is, but carry on with your own instinct and your own creativity and signature. That's really, really important. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you Thank so, Thank you so much. much for me. And Thank you. you. I chose for Cynthia and um, Reflective Gold. And it seems to be on trend, the orange hue. So especially with what Cynthia is wearing today, I thought, perfect. We'll try this out. And boy, does it look good with your headpiece. So brilliant. We did a copper tone blush, which just, when you're doing these types of tones, you want to keep in the same family. So we wanted to, you know, not have her mid match, but there's no, no way that you can get just a chiseled look like that without layering. So you want to put some bronzer as well to contour. And if you can, add a little bit of different color in the cheek to get that three-dimensional look. Beautiful, Cynthia. I can't tell you how many people want a picture of this face today. It is just amazing. Today I chose because I'm wearing red. A little bit of the green family. So I noticed some earthy tones seem to be in this season. And so I thought, why not? I'm gonna go for it, get some earthy tones in there and get some greens going. Um, kept it quite quite plain because um, you know I'm looking for class as well. So that's these are the makeup looks we chose for today's uh, ensemble. So pretty excited for us today. What would you say are your top three fabrics that you like working with? I always, uh, first of all, I love uh, pure silk, which is including also a silk. I love that. I like blue blue. 
And finally, I like hand All right. Yeah, so that's a big presentation of my collection way back in 1985. Thank you very much for your time. I will die if what happened yesterday happens again to these heels. I'm telling you, I lost one heel down that street, and I'm not about to lose a Dolce & Gabbana heel a second day in a row. Not only did the heel fall off, but the but front of her foot went through the heel and her big toe was exposed. <laughs> I did that for effect. My big toe wasn't exposed fully at first. It's like the whole shoe decided to just like <laughs> <laughs> implode. <laughs> and Cynthia was just shooting and off. And I was just walking away and Megan's like, Cynthia, Cynthia. And I was like, wait, look back, I was like, what the heck? Now today's styling was very inspired by last late night pingy show. I just had it come to me at night. I want to do colors, vintage, bits and bobs today. Yesterday was just too black, too classic. I don't want to be in black day after day. Here with Emmy McCord. Thank you.